So today, we're going to be going over how to wrap your presents and gifts like an architect. Welcome to Alt Arc, where we offer an alternative perspective on all things architecture and design. Despite your super busy schedule, you were able to go and purchase gifts this year. But wait, that's only step one. I'm going to show you how to do step two, which is actually wrapping those presents. Here at Alt Arc, we try to be as eco-friendly and eco-conscious as possible. That means that we're going to be using materials that have already been sourced rather than going to the store and buying more. Remember all those rolls of trace paper, um, vellum, and mylar that you bought? Well, we're actually going to be using those today. All right, so let's get right in. Here's a list of everything you'll need. An Olfa knife. Masking tape. A pen. A yardstick and trace paper, vellum, or mylar. In this case, I'm using vellum. And last but not least, the gift. Oh wait, 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 wait. You can't forget the architect's sweater. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gather up all your supplies because it just makes it easier to grab when you have one hand holding the paper and the other hand can do everything else. We need to cut our paper down so it will fit our gift. Fold one side so it's about one half of the way across. Then repeat this for the other side of the paper. Mark the point with the pen of where they cross. Grab your yardstick and Olfa knife and cut the paper off at the point you marked. You're probably thinking people can see right through that paper. This is true. That's why you'll tell them your concept for this proposal is inside versus outside, or transparency, whichever you choose. Try not to place your gift on its side. Also, try not to put it on its back. You want the top of your gift facing upwards. Perfect. Now your two sides should completely cover the gift. Now we need to cut off the top and bottom excess portions of the paper. Measure the side of your box, and that's how much you're going to need on either side. My box was two and a half inches, so I'm using my yardstick to mark two and a half inches on either side of the box. You need that length on the top and bottom of your gift to cover it. Use your yardstick to align at the points you just made and remove the excess. Make sure to save it for another gift in the future. You need four pieces from your masking tape. I took mine and used an Olfa to square them off into perfect rectangles. It also doesn't hurt to cut a couple extra just in case. All right, now it's time for the hard part.
Align your gift so it's perfectly in the center. Fold the edges over and tape them closed. For a tighter fit, you can tape the underside paper to the gift itself. That's so the paper won't shift around like it did with me. Now on the top and bottom sleeves, fold the corners in and then crease them into triangles. And then fold those triangles inwards towards the gift. Now you can fold the top lip over so it can be sturdy and square. And then fold the whole thing over and tape it. Now just repeat this process for the other side and you're good to go. Oops. All right, look at that. It's not my best job, but it does the job. Spirit fingers for the holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching everybody. If you liked the video, please like the video and consider quickly subscribing so you can catch the future content. I hope you all have a very happy holiday and thank you for hanging out. I'll catch you next time. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh.